Hey guys, it's Hexy. I just have a quick tutorial for you on how to take your current version of Fallout 4 and revert it to an earlier version so that your Fallout 4 script extender still works. So the first thing you'll want to do is go ahead and open up Notepad and jot down what you see here. Hit pause if you need to. Next thing you'll have to do is go to steamdb.info and you're going to search for Fallout 4. Find the game, Fallout 4, copy the app ID, drop it in here, go ahead and click on that app ID, select your version, and then you're going to go to the depot, Fallout 4 EXE, and copy that ID, drop it into your notepad, click on it, Go to Manifests, and you don't want the current version. The current version is the one that broke your Fallout 4 script extender, so you want the one before that. Copy it, paste. Now you're going to go ahead and go to your Steam, go to Properties, and type in minus console just like that, you know, space minus console. I've already done it, of course, I have my Steam open already. Now you, you want to make sure that your Steam is closed. I, I should put that out there. You want to make sure your Steam is closed and then do this and then re reopen Steam. And when you do, you'll have a little console at the end here. Go to that and go ahead and take this download underscore depot, copy it, drop it over, copy the app ID, space, drop it over, space. You're going to do the same thing for the depot ID and the manifest. Hit enter. You'll notice it's saying downloading. And it'll give you the path that it downloaded to. So here it is. Looks familiar, doesn't it? Go ahead and open up your Fallout 4. This is the path. And you'll see that your Fallout4.exe, your application, you're going to want to get rid of that. Delete it, destroy it, do whatever. And you're going to want to take this file and drag it over and replace and put it there. I've already done it. That's why you see the sizes are the same. And this will revert your game back to an earlier state where your script extender worked. Remember to boot from the Fallout 4 script loader right here? You, if you boot from Steam, it's going to update your game. And if you update your game, you'll be going through this process again. I hope this helped you guys out, and thanks for watching. Push, push, push.